good morning everybody today is gonna be a pretty relaxed video um, I am literally just sitting at my vanity about to do my makeup for the day and I thought today would be the perfect day to try out the beauty counter stuff that I recently just bought in uh, my last video so if you haven't watched that go check that out um, but yeah, I'm just going to be putting a full face of makeup on using all the beauty counter things that I bought and then I'll be checking back in with you throughout the day to kind of see how they hold up. So let's see if these little babies stand the test of time. I've heard great, great things about all of these products. So I'm very happy to try them out and to, um, hopefully have them in my makeup life forever. So. So very quickly before we get started, I am going to just do all of my like normal makeup off camera. Um, just because you guys have seen that before, I will just check back in when I put all the beauty counter stuff on. Alright, so I have all of my like foundation on and stuff like that. So the first thing from Beauty Counter that I'm going to try out is the highlighter that I bought. This is in the shade Halo. It is the Luminous Powder Highlighter. Um, it's very beautiful and subtle. Um, yeah, it's super subtle. So I think it's going to be a great everyday look for me. Um, I'm just going to take this uh, Luxie 660 Precision Brush and see what I think. This highlighter is very beautiful. Um, it is certainly for... Uh, certainly for women who don't want the crazy highlighter because it's very subtle but it's still very beautiful as well this is a great everyday highlighter especially if you're not very into like highlighters this gives you just like a nice little you know more dimension to your coloring so I like it and it's super soft it's like velvet So it's really subtle, but yeah, I like it. Let's move on. All right, I'm going to move on to eyes. So I did purchase the Romance, Romantic, the Romantic Eyeshadow Palette from Beauty Counter. So I'm going to do a makeup look with that today. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it very simple for now. I'm going to take my Spectrum VO6 brush, it's my Old Faithful, and I'm going to dip into the Creme Brulee color. Just a nice, subtle, transition looking shade. First impressions, um, the shadows are not that pigmented. Now, I will say it was very buildable. Like, I achieved the look that I wanted to, um, but I did have to, like, dip into the palette several times. Now, this being a very natural, clean brand, um, I didn't expect anything less from that. Um, but as far as good, like, everyday wear, I actually really like it. The colors are really beautiful. I think they're very wearable. Um, and the shadows, more importantly, are blendable. So, very into that. So, the next thing I'm going to do is take the color Cameo. Just going to use my finger and put this on my lid. Okay, so I really love this shade. Um, it's kind of iridescent. I don't know if you can see it like on my finger or on my eyes, but like it's so iridescent. It's really gorgeous. Um, yeah, and like the inner corners of my eye, it's touching more like pink. Then it's kind of coming out more like ice blue to like the outer corner of my eye. I think it's a really gorgeous color. So in to it into it. Take the 
JH37 and dip into the truffle color. It's just a little bit darker of a shade. And just put that on the outer corners of my eye to even up that crease. Okay, so now that I've deepened up the crease, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the JH38, just like a tiny fluffy brush. I'm gonna hit that moon dust color because I've been drooling over it. And it's just a solid palette. I'm gonna use this in the inner corners of my eye. So I'm going to take the same color moon dust with the JH40 and hit my brow bone with it. Okay, so the tea about this moon dust color is that in the pan it looks gorgeous. So this is it in the pan. But when it comes on the eye, it's not like a shimmery, you know, color. It like, almost like glitters off. Does that make sense? It's very weird. I'm thinking if I put maybe like a little bit of Fix Plus on it, it will do better. But I don't have any near me right now. And I'm basically just picking it up. So we're just gonna wear it like that today. Um, I do want to try it out with the Fix Plus on it. So right now it's not my favorite, but I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to be fair to it. But yeah, that was it for the eyeshadows. Like I said, they're not crazy pigmented, but they're super blendable um, and also very buildable. So I think the look is very subtle and beautiful and great for every day. We're going to go in with the eyeliner next. I got this little bad boy for free. For free. Yep. So, I became a member of Beauty Counter for $30 for a year, and I got this little boy for free. So, let's see what he can do. That precision brush is precise. You don't play. Let me know. My eyes are like burning because I'm concentrating so hard. <laughs> Alright, so I am back with mascara and my eyebrows on. And now I'm going to try out the lipstick from Beauty Counter that I bought. Yay! All right, so this is a very dark color um, because I was very drawn to it. So it is by no means a summery color or a daytime color, but oh well, we're going with it. It's the shade Twilight in the color Intense Lipstick. Let's see what it's all about. Whoa! Smells really good. Ooh. I think it tangles. Okay. 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 I look like Mulan right now. Wow, when they say color intense, they ain't lying. Now, I will say this this was the darkest shade the absolute darkest shade that they had available online. So I'm a little disappointed with how bright it's coming on my lips. Here's what I think about this color. Number one, it is super, super pigmented. Like when they say color intense, they're not joking. Uh, so congratulations to Beauty Counter. It's really, really, soft and like satiny. It's got a great consistency. I'm pretty sure it's tingly too. 
I don't know what's in here, but I'm gonna go read. Oh, I thought someone was on the neighbor. Consistency is beautiful. Pigment is beautiful. My only thing is, is that the color on the bottom makes it look like it's more like purpley. Like I got it because I wanted like, ooh, like I was like balls around the corner. You know how it looks. How it looks outside the tube, and then how it looks on my lips. I don't know. I just feel like it looks really Christmassy red on my lips, and I was going for more like an October witchy purple, is what it looked like to me on the website. So I will say that the shade is not what I was looking for. Don't get me wrong, I think this color is beautiful. I will definitely wear it. I'm glad that I have it, but it's kind of sad that that's the darkest shade they have, and I really wanted something like deep and plum and like, October, you know? So let's go about my day and see what everything looks like at the end of the day. Um, I'll be checking in periodically. I haven't eaten or drank anything yet today, so I'm pretty freaking hungry. And we'll see if this lipstick stands the test of time. All right guys, so it is a couple hours later. I am in my office working. Blair is taking a nap as per the usual. Um, there is a lot going on across the street. Uh, somebody is getting taken up. There's like an ambulance and a fire truck. So I'm like severely distracted. I did want to come on and say that I am in the middle of a cup of coffee and I did have breakfast tacos this morning for breakfast. And this is what the lipstick looks like. This is what the other makeup looks like too. But I mean, I haven't done anything crazy strenuous. So it's mainly just the lipstick. It definitely is not as rich as it was when I put it on this morning, but it still looks pretty good for withstanding two tacos and a coffee mug. So we're doing good. So it is um, like three o'clock. I just had a tiny lunch um, because I was getting a little hungry. So I had a sandwich and some water. And this is where we're at on lipstick. So. Definitely wearing away, but quite honestly, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I obviously have not reapplied since putting it on this morning. This hair is gonna drive me nuts. Um, my hair looks so bad today. I'm about to redo the color, so sorry. <laughs> Um, I have not reapplied the lipstick today just because I wanted to see like how well it would stand up. Obviously on a normal day, I would be reapplying, but just testing it today. But yeah, that's where we're at. All right guys, it's been a couple hours later. Um, I just want to say that I am a believer in this makeup now because it has lasted through a migraine nap. So, I mean, the lipstick still, it's struggling, but it's still thriving at the same time. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting in front of my window, my favorite little corner. It's the corner that I filmed my four low waist swaps. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Um, but I'm sitting in this corner because it makes me feel better. And my migraine is like out for a vengeance today. So I did take a nap to try and sleep it off. Um, definitely don't feel nauseated anymore. That's the one you use, right? Nauseated is what you feel. Nauseous is what I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been in grammar class. Anyway, I'm drinking some mint tea right now to like calm my stomach and give me some healthier caffeine. Is caffeine healthy? I don't even know. I don't know. Tea makes me feel better. So I'm drinking tea in my favorite corner and um, I'm going to finish this here. I am a believer in the beauty counter product. Um, I definitely need to reapply my lipstick, but not that bad. And eye makeup has 
really dry today, so. Definitely excited to order more products from them. I do that this week. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling crispy. So yeah, I'm just gonna end this like, first impressions vlog. I don't even know what this video is anymore. I'm just gonna end it right here. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I give my stamp of approval for the Beauty Counter brand. So if you are looking for a great brand that is on the cleaner side of ingredients, I would highly recommend this. My arm's getting so tired. Switch. Um, I would highly recommend Beauty Counter, so give them a look-see. I will leave their website down below. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Uh, also, please subscribe if you haven't yet already. Uh, and ring that little notifications bell so you are notified every time I post, which is twice a week. So, yes, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for being here, and I will see you in my next video.